Ellis Williams kicking off with John Johnson. Dive in. I've got to watch the tape. Yeah, here we go on the Browns. Really one big free agent signing. Uh, GM Andrew Barry didn't simply sign a safety. From what I've seen, what the numbers tell us, they acquired a, a deep center fielder, a stout box defender, a slot corner who can blitz off the edge if need be, and an occasional middle linebacker. Like I said, the tape proves that, which we'll get to. But simply looking at his snaps by position numbers, courtesy of PFF, show that. He had a team high 1,243 snaps for the Los Angeles Rams last year. Keep in mind uh, a defense, a top five defense, and depending on what metric you, you, you look at, you can find, you know, top three, one or two finishes for them. Uh, played more snaps than Aaron Donald, more snaps than Jalen Ramsey. Here's his breakdown. Again, remember 1,200 high team snaps, 459 came in the box. 394 came at free safety, 264 came at slot corner, 36 on the D line and five at the wide corner. That wide corner stuff is probably when, you know, they split a, a, a back or a tight end out wide and he stays on them. And man, the D line stuff is interesting. Uh, shows me capable of playing over a wide nine defensive end, like a traditional outside linebacker blitzing off the edge. Again, 36 snaps, not a lot, but I did, you know, watching the four full games I watched of this young man, um, he has some ability to scream off the edge like that. We're going to focus on the in-the-box stuff, the slot corner play, and the free safety, free safety stuff. He does just feels like Ellison Scott, the guy to me who stitches together the rest of the defense because it's like, okay, if you're going to play three safeties a lot, and it's like, well, Ronnie Harrison might do this best. And Grant Delpit might do this best. I feel like you could just take John Johnson and be like, all right, he'll fill in every gap. If he needs to do a little more of this because these two guys are better, fine. If he needs to do a little more of this, fine. Like he is sort of like, he's the cement. He's the, the grout. He's going to fill in every crack and be pretty good at almost everything. So Ellis, I just, I'm excited for the breakdowns because he's not a one. He's not like all your breakdowns. He's not doing the same thing every play. He's showing different skill sets play to play. I encourage listeners to go and look at these plays individually and really study them. This first one comes in week 11, fourth quarter at the 158 mark. Uh, it ended this the game. Uh, I believe this was a Thursday night game uh, when Tom Brady put the, the four up and thought he had another down. The Rams here are showing too high look. The Bucks are in a, in a spread uh, 11 personnel. They've got to throw the football. You, we have... John Johnson down in the slot over uh, what is going to be, I believe, Cameron Brait. At the snap, you see the Rams roll down to what really becomes a cover one look. And that's what confuses Brady so much. You start too high. And a lot of you're going to notice the theme in these plays being a confusion of the start of the high look. Brandon Staley really emphasized making a quarterback think post-snap. Tom, Tom Brady's the greatest quarterback ever because of how he wins pre-snap. And this is a sh two plays in here of the Bucks. Rams Bucks are examples of making Tom Brady think post-snap and the Rams win. When you run the tape, John Johnson starts in the slot. And if this was traditional cover four, he wouldn't carry Cameron Brate deep. But he does. One safety rolls low. And instead of splitting the safeties where that ball goes, Brady completely sails and it's an interception. Though John Johnson really does nothing on that play to be around the football, I really do credit him with that interception because him carrying the tight end there and then rolling the coverage is just an uh, example, one example of the versatility the Browns are going to have in their secondary this year. This is uh, the second good play I want to highlight. It's John Johnson on a shallow versus DK Metcalf. Comes in the wild card round of the playoffs this year, second quarter, 13 39 mark this is a third and seven for the seahawks from about midfield uh john johnson he, he's impossible to miss he's right in the middle of the field crosses the seahawks logo he essentially is playing middle linebacker here right before the snap look at his hands point the communication never stops uh, we've said it a zillion times but he's the green dot player for the rams had the radio and the helmet making all the calls this is honest i think my favorite rep of him that i found where when we start the play and Russell starts to drop back, notice his initial 
steps. His initial drops are deep and to the sideline. That's because essentially what we're seeing here is a cover three look. And Russell Wilson, because he's a smaller quarterback, can't see the deep corner open up that would have hit there. The flat safety rolls down and takes the flat so quickly that when he gets to about the 50 yard line to take the running back out in the slot, John Johnson notices that gets eyes on the quarterback. Another thing I want listeners to know about what John Johnson has been taught is to always get eyes on the quarterback because their eyes tell you where the ball's going. Now that sounds like a way to get easily deceived. Like, Oh, he's going to get looked off a lot. Not when you're just as cerebral as the quarterbacks doing the looking off. Johnson knows that when, when he does make a decision on the quarterback's eyes, he's usually right. And that is just something at safety that is innate and in a way God given. And John Johnson has it as he works back to Russ's eyes. He notices a crossing DK Metcalf who is open. He's wide open until John Johnson makes a decision. Russell Wilson releases the ball. Johnson drives and he lights him up. John Johnson is six foot tall, about 200 pounds. DK is 6'4", 230. And if you go to the tight view, I love the tight view. You see him get rocked and then John Johnson stands up with a flex. It is a heck of a play. It's the type of pro bowl, all pro play that the Brown secondary has dearly missed. It, I mean, for Scott can speak better to it, but for as long as I can remember.